Hello again. In today's video, we're going to take a look at one of the storyline quests that you'll encounter in Stardew Valley in year one. So we're on day three of summer of year one, and we're going to go check the mailbox. And if all goes well and as planned and the way it's supposed to, we should have a letter in here from Mayor Lewis that will send us on our next quest. So let's take a look. Amanita. This is embarrassing. I lost my lucky purple shorts. I'm telling you because I think I can trust you. If you find them, bring them back to me discreetly. I'll pay well. Thanks. From Mayor Lewis. So we're going to accept this quest. And then I'm going to show you how to go about finding these shorts. Is there someone in particular we need to go make a friendship with and then we'll be able to return his shorts to him if you want i know there's some people that don't and they put them on display around town and whatnot but if you're uh, if you're interested in returning those shorts then there's somebody we need to go talk to so let's head to town so the person we need to speak to is marnie and her little ranch is south of your farm i went the long way around through pelican town but you can go down to the south of your farm and here's Marnie. So we've met very, very briefly, um, but our friendship is at zero right now. You can see right here, we're at a zero out of 10 friendship. And we were just talking about hay, and that's where this dialogue came from. She was telling me about how to uh, harvest grass and turn it into hay with this size, of, or of course, you can buy it from her. So, <laughs> poor Marnie, not getting by so easy these days. So I've got my player zoomed all the way out right now, and you can even see right up here, there's a pair of purple shorts there, and those are actually Mayor Lewis's shorts. However, if I try to go in there to get them, it's not gonna let me. You're not good enough friends with Marnie to enter a bedroom. So we're gonna have to suck up to Marnie a little bit to get to be better friends with her so that she'll allow us inside of her bedroom and around her house and whatnot. So to do that, we need to find out what her favorite gifts are, what gifts we can give her that will bolster our friendship the fastest and the most. So you can see up here in my inventory, I've got two pink cakes. She absolutely loves pink cakes. Sometimes you can get these at the Star Drop Saloon, or if you have your farmhouse upgrade, you can also cook them. And the pink cakes are actually a good gift to give to a number of the female NPCs around Stardew Valley. So it's good to have a couple of those tucked in your back pocket, but we're going to give one to Marnie right now. Now she also loves farmer's lunch, which is another cooking item. She loves pumpkin pie. You can also cook that in your farmhouse, or you can also give her diamonds. Of course, every girl loves diamonds, right? So you can get those from mining and occasionally from geodes and the like. So, oh, and there's Mary Lewis. So we're going to give Marnie a cake. This is an incredible gift. Thanks. Now we're still at zero. So what I'm going to do is head back to the farmhouse. We're going to go nap until tomorrow and we'll come back and give her another gift. So if you're unfamiliar with gift giving in Stardew Valley, you can give up to two gifts per week per person, unless it is the week of their birthday, and then you can give them three. So two regular weekly gifts and then one for their birthday. And that will help increase your friendship levels with the NPCs. Okay, so it's nine o'clock. We should be able to head in now. And she's in her bedroom. Darn it. Okay, wait for her to come out and then we'll give her another gift. And there she is. Let's give her a diamond this time. So same response, she loves it. We're still at zero. Now we can only give two gifts per week per person, so I'm going to put my character to bed and we will resume our gift giving on Monday. Okay, so I just gave Marnie another diamond, so I think this makes six gifts. I think I've given two, three weeks worth of two gifts, so six. And we are now at two, 
friendship points out of 10. So we're going to head back into her house. And we're going to see if we can go in there and get those shorts. And look at that. So we've gained enough friendship with Marnie at two hearts to get in there and retrieve these lovely purple shorts. Better return it to Lewis. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. So there's a number of other things you can do with these shorts. Some people put them on display during the Stardew Valley Fair in the fall, for example. Some people have put them in the soup for the luau. There's any number of things that you can do with them. You can keep them if you want, but we're gonna just take them back to Lewis for now. No, I don't know his daily schedule off the top of my head, so we're just going to have to go look around for him and see if we can find him. So here's Lewis over here gardening beside his house. So we're going to go give him his lucky purple shorts. <laughs> He's a little embarrassed, I think. I have no idea how they could have gotten there. Hmm. This stays between you and me. Got it? Looks pretty angry. So if we go to our journal, we go to the Mare Shorts quest, we get a 750 gold reward. So there you go. That is how and where to find Mayor Lewis's lucky purple shorts. That's all I have for you today. I'll see you on the next one. <laughs>